watching Jugu today and about to do the most touristy thing, which is to go to the uh, robot restaurant, uh, which I've heard probably is the best thing to do whilst you're in Tokyo, because it's really touristy, but I am a tourist from Australia and yeah, I guess I gotta do it. I've got a bit of time until the show, so let's go have a walk around. Alright, so wait about 20 minutes for the ticket. Booked online for this special gift. The ripper of a uh, bottle opener. Um, skeptical already, we're gonna have a peek, but we're here, we've paid, let's see how we go. It's about time that we take a quick break uh, for tonight's story time with Long. And so at the end of the robot restaurant experience, you can take a photo with the dancers of the robots and uh, of course Cheeky Boy over here has decided to take a photo with this phallic robot. And after the show I met these two lovely American girls, Cassie and Taylor, who were in the same show as me, and we decided to get some dinner together. We had decided to go to the most Japanese restaurant we could find, and look, the whole menu was in Japanese, uh, no one there actually spoke any English, um, we were in Japan obviously, so everyone spoke Japanese, so we really struggled to order. Now luckily back home I've actually got a friend who's studying Japanese at university and even more fortunately he was actually on Facebook at the right time so what I did was I actually took some photos of the menu and got him to translate some of the things and then just to write a small list of things that I could show the waitress to help us order. And as you can see here, we didn't actually end up ordering that much food because we were still a little bit tentative. Um, but it turned out pretty well, uh, and it was a pretty good meal at the end of the day, and we survived. And that's the main thing. And you may be wondering, is that the end of the story for Tim? And the answer is no. I referred to him multiple, multiple times throughout the trip for his Japanese expertise. So thank you, Tim, for all your help. I'm sure I wouldn't be here without you. 
Our next story for the night, ladies and gentlemen, revolves around a bar we stumbled into, which had a all-you-can-drink for 40 minutes option for 1,000 yen, which is about 13 Australian dollars. Now, obviously, this seemed very suspect, but we gave it a crack anyway. Um, I don't actually drink alcohol, so here's me with a Coke. Now, the story gets interesting because we had this waitress named Jeff who just stood right next to us. Not right next to us, but maybe a foot or two away, but would just stare at our conversation and laugh when we laughed, even though she had no idea what we were saying. We tried to use Google Translate to talk to her, and when I asked her if uh, the bar was ever busy, she just replied, I am free. Now, does that mean other wait staff in Tokyo are typically slaves, but Jeff was one of the minority who could actually work under free will? I guess I'll never know. Alright, well it's nearly midnight. Um, we start the show at what time? Um, four, 4 o'clock. 4 p.m. <laughs> Two American girls up inside. We had to bear through the uh, Robo dinner, like Robo restaurant video as well. The only way you can survive is if you have a couple of drinks. Yeah, yeah. What do you rate it? Out of 10? Taylor, Taylor first, what do you reckon? 10. I love it. 10 out of 10. If you're sober, it's a 3. It's yeah. a 3. But okay, so for you. If you're drunk, then it's like a 6 or a 7. Yeah, yeah. Right. I have no idea what was going on, but I loved it. Yeah. So you got a 7? A 10? I give it a 3 out of 10. But, but, <laughs> I, a 3 you have to see anyway. Yeah, whatever that means. You must see if you go to yeah. Tokyo. Alright, awesome. Well, that's it for now. Uh, see what I get up to tomorrow. And make a crap video about that too. Until then. What's your outro? What is your outro? My outro is really bad. Like it'll be this. Like it'll be me saying, what's my outro? It's really bad.